Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upper Comedy back with another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to be showcasing the new Extreme Z Awakening for AGL Super Vegito. And honestly guys, this is an awakening that was a little controversial when it first came out, or at least when the details first came out, because there were some people that saw it and were like, yo, he looks amazing, he looks really good, he's gonna be super, super strong, while others were disappointed, some people were super underwhelmed because they expected more attack, more defense as far as the buffs go, and uh, also less restrictions, which I can kinda understand, I see it from both sides, but I was one of the people that said, when I first saw the details, that he was gonna be really good. I felt like they gave him, you know, a good passive. I felt like, I mean, the stats obviously are amazing, almost 19,000 attack and 10,500-ish defense, which is really good. But I just felt like he was gonna be really, really strong, like top five TURs in the game with this Extreme Z Awakening. So in today's video, we're gonna showcase him on a Patara team and find out exactly how good he is and uh, how correct I was in my original assessment, right? So without further ado, let's jump into the gameplay and see what this guy is all about. So this is the team we're bringing him on, and he currently has a defensive stat of 64,854, which is actually not too bad. He does have two supports on rotation, so it is slightly inflated, but his defense is definitely better than it was before the EZA, but that being said, it's still not awesome. That defense will go higher after he takes a hit, but um, it's still not a very, very high defensive stat for a rainbow Dokkan Fest unit. So don't expect him to tank super attacks very well. Um, a super from a really strong enemy on Super Battle Road or Dokkan Battlefield is still gonna be an issue for him. So do be careful with that. But we do have a very, very good rotation here, guys. We're gonna link him with the Tech Vegito. We also have the support from the Supreme Kai of Time. So this is gonna be a very, very good showing from the Vegito. So let's see what happens. Here we go. First counter, and then super, and then two more counters after. So taking that for 10, and countering for almost 600,000. Attack stat for the super goes up to 2.4 million. And this might just be it, okay. So only the one counter, because Goku's dead. 2.6 million crit on the super guys, not too bad. Now, do keep in mind, double support, so it's not going to be that high normally, but um, <laughs> that was a good way to start the showcase. That was definitely a very, very good way to start the showcase. Now, the reason I think a lot of people were a little bit low on the uh, details when they first came out was because they saw the 40% attack and defense he got after taking a hit and they were like, that's really low. Like 40% is pretty much nothing compared to a lot of these new units that we're getting today, right? Like we're getting units with 150%, 200% casually, uh, even up towards of like 250%, 300% buffs on their passive. And when you see a 40% buff for this Vegito's EZA, you're like, it's kind of trash, right? It's really not that good, but you gotta keep in mind that uh, number one, he has insane stats, like he has close to LR stats, right? With that 18,000, almost 19,000 attack. And on top of that, it's the counters that really make this unit, guys. All right, the counters um, make a big difference. Counters are an absolutely broken mechanic in this game. And when you factor in the total amount of damage output with the counters, uh, oh crap. I think Vegito Blue might end it here. Oh, never mind. Okay. So, what we get to see here is actually a super without getting the 40% from taking a hit. And as you can see, it went down to 1.44 million. So, the last rotation was definitely a little inflated with the double support as well as taking a hit in the beginning. And uh, that is one issue. That is definitely one issue I have with the passive. So, of course, 40% doesn't seem too high, but it does make a big difference for Vegito. But if you don't have an attack, at the beginning, like in the first slot, then, um, or like an enemy attack, right? If there's no enemy attack to proc that 40%, then he's not gonna get that 40% uh, attack boost on his super, which is gonna reduce his damage output that turn by quite a bit, so you are relying on there being a enemy attack in the first, like in the, in the front, before you attack, right? So uh, that is a little bit annoying. I also wish that the I, I do wish that the 40% attack and defense boost 
was for multiple turns as opposed to just the one turn so that it doesn't have to be re every single time. Um, so yeah, those are definitely some issues. Oh, another issue I have with this guy. So he's not the perfect unit. Let me, let me just be clear. I don't think he's perfect. I do think he has issues. I don't think he's the best TUR in the game. Um, and one other issue, of course, is the whole, you know, needing to be um, below 40% HP to get his full passive, especially the new part uh, where he can see incoming enemy super attacks. You have to be below 40% HP to see that, so we're probably not going to get that in today's showcase. But um, that being said, I can see it definitely being very useful on modes like Super Battle Road or the Legendary Goku event where, you know, you're really going to need the ability to see super attacks at low HP because a super on Super Vegito would just straight up kill you, right? So I can definitely see the usefulness of that passive. I just wish the restriction wasn't so um, restrictive. I guess it wasn't so harsh. But that being said, guys, damage output wise, still pretty solid. 1.5 million for the super and then the counters are about 300 to 400,000 after taking the hit. So I gotta say, I'm still very impressed. Uh, I don't think he's broken. I don't think he's busted. I think he's just extremely, extremely good. I would still put him in my top five for TURs uh, in the game, somewhere in the range of like Janemba and STR Cooler. STR Cooler, probably number one. I, I don't know for sure because I haven't really tested him out too much, but uh, from what I've seen and what I've what I have played uh, with him, he is extremely good, probably number one, but I would put AGL Vegito in the top five, I think. I think that is a good place for him to be. And um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think people's expectations were just way too damn high for this AGL Vegito EZA. I mean, part of it is because it's been so long since we've wanted, since like they started Extreme Z Awakening these 70% leads, right? So people's expectations have just been built up over time and it just got out of control, I think, after a year plus of anticipation. And uh, secondly, it's just the fact that it's freaking Vegito, man. And I get it, I get it. I love Vegito too. Everybody does. If you're a real Dragon Ball fan, you love Vegito. There's no question about that. But um, I think people's expectations were just a little bit unrealistic for what this guy should have been. So this is what we got. And I gotta say, he is very, very strong, guys. I'm impressed. I think he's amazing. I think he's great. Top five TUR for me, for sure. And this is actually an amazing opportunity for this guy to prove me right, to reinforce my fact, or my fact, reinforce my point I just made, because we're getting the, we're getting the attack in the beginning, and then we're getting, oh, we're getting supered. <laughs> okay, please don't die. Please don't die. We have type advantage. And okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're taking 75k, not the best, uh, obviously, for a type advantage, but, um, you know, we're doing a lot of damage. <laughs> we're doing a lot of damage. So over 2 million for the super right there. Every counter is 420k, yeah, 421,000, and we just took out the Goku. Uh, we could have done more damage, too, if he had more HP, because there were more attacks coming, right? But... I think that's enough, guys. I, I think that's enough. That is the AGL Super Vegito Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, he's a beast. He's a monster. I've seen some calculations that those, you know, people on Reddit do, and apparently, from what I've seen, he is in like the top two or three hardest hitting TURs in the game, just below uh, Tech Vegito Blue. So as far as damage output goes, he does not disappoint. Do I wish he was a little bit better at taking super attacks now after Extreme Z Awakening? Yes. I mean, he actually is. He is better at taking super attacks, but um, still not great. So you do have to be careful with him, but the damage output, I think, makes up for it. The counters, I think, makes up for that. And if you just want a super, super strong unit that does just stupid amounts of damage, this guy's it. This guy's it. I think Bandai respected him. All right, I think this Extreme Z Awakening does do him justice. He's just not as broken as people were hoping. So uh, maybe this will teach us to just keep our expectations a little bit under control for the Fizz Vegito Blue as well, because some people are expecting Fizz Vegito Blue to hit like new LR numbers, which <laughs> is not gonna happen. He's not gonna hit as hard as like a new 
I don't know, Dokkan Fest LR or something like that. But he is gonna hit really, really hard, I'm sure. So Fizz Vegito Blue in the future when that comes out, I'll keep you guys posted and, uh, you know, do another showcase. But for today, this is AGL Super Vegito's Extreme Z Awakening Showcase. And uh, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this guy post Extreme Z Awakening. Do you think he is good enough? Do you think he is very good? Do you think he's disappointing still, even after seeing those numbers that we just saw? Or uh, are you somewhere in between? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to read your opinions. And that's it, guys. That's all for the video. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.